Hi guys, this is Claire at Channel Gabber. Uh, the purpose of this video today is to show you how to set up your map shipping settings in Channel Gabber and how to print off your Royal Mail labels. Okay, to start off with, you want to go into the settings page in the navigation bar at the top, and then over on the left hand side, you want to go into shipping and then map shipping. Okay, the purpose of this first step is so that we can tell Channel Grabber which of our shipping methods from our orders uh, equate to which Royal Mail services. So to start off with, we click on plus new shipping mapping. The shipping method section, second column along, that will show us any shipping methods from our existing orders in Channel Grabber. And the idea is that if you have more than one shipping method, which is actually the same, for example, if you've got different ones from different channels, um, you can call them the same shipping name and then you can map them to a particular service for your courier. So to start off with, you can see I've got two types of shipping methods here. The simple ones are just from my web store and the slightly more complicated ones are coming from eBay. And you can see that there's two of the same options here. So all I'm going to do is start off with the first class option from my web store and then hold down control on my keyboard and select the first class option from eBay as well. So that lets me select both of them together. And I'm going to label those as Royal Mail First Class. And then I choose my courier as Royal Mail. And then I can also specify which service I want to use with Royal Mail as well. So once I've chosen the courier, that will give me a relevant list of services. Uh, in my case, First Class is just going to equate to the Royal Mail 24 service. So I can select that from the drop down. If you want to enter information about your delivery times and delivery days, you can do. That's purely for your own reference in Channel Grabber, so it doesn't affect the labels, so it's your choice whether you do that or not. Next, I want to create another new shipping mapping, and this time I'm doing my second class options. I'm going to call it Royal Mail Second Class. Same again, choose Royal Mail as my courier, and then the service this time for me is going to be 48. Okay, once you're done, click on the Save button. And then any new orders that come in from now on and any existing orders, they will be renamed uh, as you've set up here. Once we've done that, we can go into the actual orders page. And I'm sure you already know how to filter the orders. If not, have a look at our knowledge base. I'm going to have a look at the new orders for now. So I've just got the four and I can select all of those. And then from my bulk actions menu near the top left of the page, I want to go down to print courier labels. That's our option for Royal Mail labels. So you click onto that click on the go button next to it and that will take you through to the next level of the interface to allow you to add a little bit more detail uh, about the courier services. Uh, as you can see they were all first class so they've all gone to the 24 service but if I had one particular item let's say this one that was going to be a little bit different I can change that on an individual order basis. So let's say it was a higher value item and I want to send it 24 tracked I can select that for that particular one. We do give you the item name and also the address that it's going to to try and make it a bit easier for you to work this out. OK, once you've selected that, we click on the continue button at the top. And now we've got one more level of information to enter before we can print up our labels. We've already selected the service, but now there might well be a sub uh, category for the package type. So again, we would just specify whatever is relevant for the orders that we're processing. And you can also see we have a weight uh, column here as well. If you've entered the weight in the product in Channel Grabber, that will be automatically populated. If you haven't, it will set to zero. But once you've set the weight here once, that will be saved on your Channel Grabber product for future as well for that particular SKU. So you won't have to enter it more than once. If there's any add-ons, for example, a signature, you can tick onto the relevant uh, option there. And if that's all you need to do, you can then move on and you can either create the labels individually by clicking on the Create Label option again. Or if you want to bulk print through your label printer, you can go up to the top of the page here and click on create all labels. You will see that will start the progress circle just spinning there so you know that it is processing those labels. And once they've been processed, you'll see the little PF icon will appear next to each label that's been created. OK, you can either then print the labels individually by clicking on the PDF icon for each label. Or again, if you want to do things in bulk, at the top of the page, there is a print all labels option. And when I click that, it will download me a PDF into my browser and you launch the PDF and that will then have all of your labels. So you can see here I've got four labels from my four different orders, which I can now bulk print through my label printer. So you would just click on the print icon and obviously then print your uh, orders as usual. I'm going to go back now because I don't actually want to print that just yet. If you have a problem or a mistake at all or you need to cancel a label, again, you can either do that individually on this page here or you can click cancel all labels to go back and remove them all. Okay, once you're done, uh, once you've printed off your labels, you can click the little blue cross in the top right hand corner to go back to your orders page. 
And of course, now that they're printed, I can go to my bulk actions menu and I can mark them all as dispatched. If I now click on go, those will now be marked as dispatched in Channel Grabber. And if it's an order from eBay or one of the other channels, that will then send the dispatch notification through to that channel as well. Hope you find this video helpful. If not, give our support team a quick call. Our number is 0161 711 0245. Or you can pop us an email on support at channelgrabber.com. Thanks a lot. Bye.